Hello, I'm Chris White, Director of Programming and Production at POV. Today we'll be talking about a powerful film called Hold Me Tight, Let Me Go, which is going to be showcased on POV this summer. In Hold Me Tight, Let Me Go, one of Britain's leading documentary filmmakers takes a verite look at Oxford's Mulberry Bush School for emotionally disturbed children. Mulberry's heroically forbearing staff greets extreme, sometimes violent behavior with only consolation and gentle restraint. Kim Longinato's unblinking camera captures an arduous process and a nearly unhinged environment, but it also records the daily dramas of troubled kids trying to survive and the moments of hope they achieve with Mulberry's clear-eyed staff. I'm thrilled to be talking with the filmmaker, Kim Longinato, in person. Kim, thank you so much for being here. Pleasure. So w what is Mulberry Bush School and, and why did you choose to make a film about it? Um, Mulberry Bush School is kind of, it's like a, a last chance for these kids. They've been chucked out of every school and nobody can control them. And they've, had, they've all had some traumas in their lives or something bad's happened to them. And um, they go there, it's a boarding school, and they go there for three years, and what the staff try to do is to find out what their problem is and, and help them to get through it. I mean, what amazed me the first time I went there, because um, my school was very punitive, it was a very tough school, and you always felt like you were in the wrong and you were always trying to get through. And I went to one of the class and the kid was really acting up and sort of throwing punches and things. And they restrained the kids so it couldn't hurt anybody. And then they said, why are you behaving like this? And I thought, wow. They were finding out why, what was the matter. And the kids started talking very openly about what he was thinking about and what the problem was. And I thought, this is a really brilliant idea that, you know, that we would nurture our kids rather than punish them. <laughs> and I thought it was kind of like a template for how an ideal society would work, that it's not punishing people, it's finding out what the problem is. If I was to say to you, describe feeling sad as a colour, what colour would you say that you were? Mm, red. Red. Having seen the film, you do feel so close, you feel like you're in the room. The kids were so, I found that just the kids themselves so powerful, and I wanted to know what they'd been through. I wanted to know why they were like that. And I, I knew that you couldn't do it with a commentary. You couldn't say, you know, this kid has been abused by his dad, you know, and that's why he hates adults. And, you know, that, you couldn't do that. It's all through layers and subtlety. You, by watching the film with an open mind, it comes out if you watch it in a certain way. Um, people who don't like my films don't like them because they're not told what to think. shouting and hurting because you're feeling sad. I think you're feeling really cross about things. Well, that would make me sad. What was your greatest satisfaction in making this film? The sort of dream I think we all have, whether it happens or not, or works or not, is that people will watch what we make and they will watch it and they will actually it'll mean something to them. It's like a little window opening on the world and that it'll make them maybe think about themselves. I said if it comes near my face again, it will be taken away. You are trying to control everything and get everything on your own terms and your own way. It's not going to happen because you're a little boy. And it's a kind of image of how our society could be more gentle, more nurturing, and how it could be a better place to live. You know, I think so, I read somewhere that 60% of people in prison have, are, have trouble reading, have come from really violent backgrounds. And, you know, if they were just somewhere where people were finding out why they were offending and were, were, were giving them a sort of chance, you know, then they wouldn't re-offend. Thinking about what happened this morning, and do you understand why it's... Why okay. I, I am feeling a lot better. What I'm hoping the film will do at least is is just to show a different way of dealing with, with violent kids rather than locking them up. I've lost it, for sure. Leave the blind alone. I know, I've lost it. Sure. The question is, how much will we be doing? 
you see these teachers and they're these amazing people who are doing amazing jobs. They're superheroes to me. I mean, they really are.